All right, Richard here at the Steady Peddler. Hey, I've got my wife's uh, uh, 2.0 out here. This is step through 2.0. And this has a 31.8 diameter seat post, so 31.8 millimeters. And there's a shim in here that is built into the, um, to the electric bikes on a number of different models. And so you, the, the problem with 31.8 is that there are very few seat posts that come in 31.8. 31.6 is more common, and if you get a 31.6 post, it's only going to be about a soda can width smaller, uh, a thickness smaller than what the 31.8 is. So you should be able to get by with a 31.6. Now, the common seat post size for high quality seat posts is 27.2. That's a long term standard in the cycling industry. And so if you see a Suntour post or other variety of post that comes in 27.2, you can go with that post as long as you go with some type of a shim. And so your shim is going to be a piece that you're going to slide inside of the regular electric shim that's already in here. So this will take this post from 27, from 31.8 down to 27.2, that common size. And I'll show you this Cane Creek uh, shim is really nice stuff. And the machining on it, it has a nice ridge on it. It has an internal cut in it to make it bite down on your seat post better. Something that's always important. So this one, you just take and in it goes. It's very nicely machined. So you would place that in there, get it clocked to line up with the slot on the back. That'll also be clocked for where your seat clamp is, as I've covered in another video. So you're all set to go to 27.2. <clears throat> now, a couple of things I would advise you on these on these shims is you want to get the longest one possible. There are some cheap shims that are for sale on Amazon, and I don't recommend those. You want to have the absolutely longest shim as you can because when you have a smaller post, you want to have twisting forces handled, and the longer the shim, the better that will be handled. So subscribe to our videos, uh, like this video, and thank you very much.